From the Pasadena Media Center, this is News Brief for Friday, July 15th, 2022. Los Angeles County is experiencing another COVID-19 surge. Currently, LA County is in the moderate community level, but is rapidly moving toward high. If the county re-enters the high community level, cities like Pasadena may consider, once again, requiring indoor masking. County Public Health Director Dr. Barbara Ferrer said that, given the current rate of increase in hospitalizations, Los Angeles County is on pace to reach the high virus activity level this week, which could equate to another universal indoor mask wearing mandate by the end of the month. If the county remains at the high level for two consecutive weeks, it will reimpose the mandatory indoor mask wearing mandate. Under the current timetable, that could happen by July 29th. Pasadena's Department of Libraries and Information Services wants to extend a special real estate tax set to expire next year. The special tax accounts for about $2.8 million, or 20%, of the Pasadena Public Library's annual budget. The special tax has been in effect since July 1993 and is set to expire in February 2023. The department wants a measure to extend the tax on the November 8th ballot, adding that the city council will need to act before August 8th in order to meet the deadline for the measure to be placed on the ballot. Approval by two-thirds of Pasadena voters will be needed to pass the extension. Along with reading and educational material, the main library and its eight branches provide Pasadena residents with free access to Wi-Fi and computers. The library branches also provide free exhibition and meeting spaces, as well as video and board games for checkout. Low-income PWP customers can now apply to receive financial assistance for delinquent residential water bills. The Low Income Household Water Assistance Program is a federally funded program that offers low-income households a one-time payment of up to $2,000 to help pay outstanding bills for residential water or wastewater costs. Low Income Assistance is a one-time program that is available for approximately one year and will permanently close in August 2023. Funding for eligible residents is offered on a first-come, first-served basis. The amount of assistance customers may receive will depend on the balance of that household's water bill. PWP encourages customers who are interested to apply. To participate, PWP customers must apply directly to the Maravilla Foundation online at www.maravilla.org. For information on other PWP programs for low-income customers, visit www.pwpweb.com. For Pasadena Media, I'm Joe Carbonetta.